So this video is gonna be really geared around questions I got on Snapchat. I'm gonna answer some while I'm training. I posted this both on Snapchat and Instagram to let you guys know. If you're not following me on either, you can. It's Campbell Fitness, pretty easy to find. But as part of that, one of the other frequently asked questions I've been getting recently is about my own voice. So what happened to your voice and why is it different? Well, if you guys didn't see my comment on the last video, I actually ended up getting braces, AKA adult orthodontics, AKA no, not dentures. But as part of that, it's been very hard to speak and or eat in some circumstances, still getting used to it. So you're gonna hear a little bit of lisp because S words are tough to say. Like for example, sports or medicine or the National Academy of Sports Medicine or the National Academy of Sports Medicine is offering a two week free trial of their services very hard to say, but let me try again. The National Academy of Sports Medicine is still offering a two-week free trial of their services. And if you're interested, you can check out myusatrainer.com slash Campbell Fitness. What's your favorite assistance work for deadlifts? So Dave from Pump Savage has asked about accessory movements for deadlifts. Traditionally speaking, I've been very weak off the floor. If I can get it up just a little bit, I can usually make things happen. So I really focus on my deficit pulls, so much so in fact that they really started to catch up to my pulls from the floor, so there's not much difference between them. Right now what I've been focusing on are more block pulls and pause deadlifts because I'm awful at them, and my thought process is if I get better at those, it will translate more to my lift overall. APL Nationals, and if yes, what do you want to hit? Are you going hashtag beast mode today, Brandon? Are you? Are you going hashtag beast mode? Is your beast mode on? I'm out of time. So USAPL Raw Nationals is something that I would really like to do. It's in Atlanta, Georgia in October. However, very strong suspicion I'm supposed to be in Seattle during that week, so I don't know if it's going to be possible. Regardless, my goals for my next meet are to go beyond my all-time best meet PR, which is 1,500 pounds. If I'm unable to do Raw Nationals in October, I am looking at a meet at the end of August, which is actually in Rhode Island, which is nice because there's not many around here that are local to me. It's starting to get easier, believe it or not. It's been about two weeks and I am starting to kind of figure it out. But one of the problems is I'm still relating everything in kilos back to pounds, which I think is really slowing me down. What I really need to do is just separate them completely and focus on the kilos. It's really similar to like if you're trying to learn a foreign language, but you're trying to think of everything in the grammar of your native language. Obviously it's not a clear translation. Same kind of thing with kilos and pounds here, but yes, it is getting easier. So a couple of months ago, I put up a video talking about trying to improve my bench arch because my bench press has just always not been very strong. And as part of that, I gave it a good shot, but my last training cycle, my bench didn't go anywhere whatsoever. I was very uncomfortable during the time. It wasn't felt like I was getting any stronger. So I decided to go back to my old ways of doing things, which is very flat backed and not a lot of leg drive. But to me, it just feels better than trying to create a lot of arch and having absolutely zero leg drive whatsoever. It just wasn't working well for me. So I'm just gonna try to get good at what I can do that seem to be the best for me so far. So as far as my bench setup goes in this case, what I do now is I just take about somewhat moderate grip. I'm putting my ring fingers on the rings, getting the bar in a good position, getting my shoulders in a good position. Then I'll just simply lift from here 
and try to dig up on my traps and my shoulders. I'm pushing myself into the pad and against the bar. From here, I'm trying to work my feet out into the widest position possible. I find that by doing this, I can't really lift my butt too far off the bench. If I go with a narrower grip, it's easier for me to get my butt off the bench. So that's obviously not good. So we're gonna go wide. I'm bracing everything, taking a deep breath. And that just feels better for me overall. So I also get a lot of questions in regards to my setup and am I satisfied with what I want or would I be better off going to a commercial gym because they have more access to equipment. Now for me personally, how I train, it's pretty much great for 95% of the things I do being squat, bench, deadlift, or any real main accessory movement with just a barbell. There's that other 5% where it really requires me to get a little bit creative. So for this, one of my favorite accessory movements I've been doing that my setup has really allowed me to do are these bent over barbell row slash pendley row hybrid. Now for me, a barbell row, which you guys are probably all familiar with, it's one of the staple exercises of any back routine, especially if you're into bodybuilding. For me personally, I find it hits my lats really well, but on the same hand, I've also found pendley rows to be really effective for powerlifting, explosive power and whatnot, but it's just a different angle and a different beast. Now for me personally, Doing pendley rows puts me in a little bit of an awkward position because I'm a little bit taller, I have to bend over a little bit further. And again, it doesn't let me engage my lats as well as something like a bent over barbell row would. However, I really like having all the tension taking off the weight at the bottom of the movement, which a pendley row allows for, but a bent over barbell row does not. Hence, here is the hybrid version. So what I have here is the barbell set up at just about under knee level or basically the bottom portion of where I would be if I were doing a bent over barbell row. From here, I can just really try to get in a strong position, make sure my back is tight, my shoulders are back, my head's forward or in a neutral position, and just really focus on exploding up, all the while hitting my lats in a better spot than I would if I were doing a pendley row. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Short, simple, and hopefully somewhat to the point. Now I know I haven't been uploading a lot to YouTube. There just hasn't been a lot to show, but that being said, I have been trying to post more to Instagram and Snapchat. So if you're not following me there and you want to get lame updates about my own life and my sock choices, you can definitely find out information there. You can also find out more about my actual training sessions through Fitocracy, which is always linked below as well. I try to track everything on there. So if you want to copy what I'm doing, but just lift more weight, you can definitely do that as well. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.